Hey, welcome to Three Questions, a Delta Park project. I'm Jason. I'm Anna. And this is the show where I've come up with three questions. I've come up with two. Anna doesn't know what they are. I'm gonna ask her the questions and then we'll just see where we go from there. Oh, great. What? Okay. Do you want to go first or should I go first? Go for it. Because <clears throat> what you, your questions might make give me an idea for a third oh, question. Oh, okay, good. So my first question is a three-part question or a three-part oh. question. Okay. Um, do you know right now where your cell phone, your car keys, and your laptop are? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yes, I do. No, no. Here's my educated guesses. Okay. My cell phone is plugged in um, next to the window upstairs. I put it there. Well, this I not... saw you do it. Mm -hmm. Okay. I saw you do it. <clears throat> my computer is in my Waldorf bag, which is on the floor in the kitchen. Okay. And what was the third one? Car keys. Oh, my car keys. I believe I hung them I know, up on you the actually, way in. You hung them up. I was shocked. I'm like, oh, this isn't going to go well because you put things away. Yeah. So. Yeah. Normally, there are car keys on the floor. But I found that they're just like on the floor in the kitchen <laughs> or somewhere random. There's a phone just wherever it's flat usually. So, and then yeah. it's like, where's my blah, blah, blah. So, yep. anyway, you did good. Good job. Yeah, I can't believe I know where they are. I know, I couldn't either. Yeah. Well, it was, if we would have done this at a different time, like right after school, you yeah. wouldn't have had any idea where Well, see what was. happens is I carry all the shit from the van into the house because mm -hmm. no one carries anything. And so uh, sometimes I have to put my keys in my pocket or in my bag because I just don't have a hand and there's a little hook as I come in the house for me to put my keys on but I'm sometimes my hands are awful and I need to bring everything upstairs. So then the car keys come out of wherever and then my phone is, I don't even know how you to You want to know what's amazing? Today, Amity, I brought Amity home. She grabbed the um, her lunchbox out of the trunk. She carried it all the way in and went in the house. Did you ask her to? I said, oh, here, take your lunchbox or her lunch basket. So she, she did. will not do I that. I come in, I open the door to the house and I nearly trip over her lunch basket because she left it downstairs and then she's throwing her shoes down on top of me. Oh, me. <laughs> that makes me feel a lot better. So, so anyway. she did it for a second and then she was like, that's right. He what, asked me to do that. So now I'm not going to. What's your question, dear? Well, crap. Now I forgot. You should write them down. Yeah, I should definitely okay. write them down. What was my jet? Oh, this probably isn't a funny question. It doesn't have to be funny. This, this is dead serious stuff. Okay. So I, when... I had Elliot. I stayed home for eight years, eight and a half years. And then I went back to work about two years ago. Has it been two years? Three years. Two and a half. Two and a half years ago. Maybe. And what did you like? What do you like better? Stay at home, Anna, or working, Anna? Not working before kids, Anna. That's not fair. Because that Anna's never coming back. Um, it's hard to say. Because after we moved, um, dinner was on the table more um, readily. And that, that was after you were working. Because even when you were at home, dinner wasn't on the table when I got <laughs> home. So, probably, probably about no. dinner? I, I, am st I have lunch at 11 o'clock. I get up at, s leave at 6. Yeah. I have lunch at 11. You get up at 10 to 6. But... I shower at the gym. With the fellas. With the fellas. <laughs> you should ask me some questions about the gym. <laughs> okay, that'll be my third one. <laughs> so then by the time I get home, I'm starving. Like, oh, what is for dinner? And I realize you've worked all day. I was just making a, you asked. So that's the only only thing I thought of right. off the top of my head. Otherwise, I don't think it really makes much of a difference other than Amity isn't around, but I don't think you could have handled her by yourself anyway, so. Or maybe she's like she, that because I work. She needs a whole crew of people taking care of her. She needs lots of friends to be with all the time. So, And anyway. some other adult ah. who is not me. This episode of Three Questions is brought to you by Orange LaCroix. Uh, question two. Okay. On Westworld, which we just started watching again, which everyone says they know what's going on, but no one knows what's going on. 
Are you rooting for the humans or the robots? So I, after we watched the season premiere of Westworld. Mm -hmm. Season two. I, season two premiere of Westworld. I thought about it. Oh. And here's the thing. I don't like that show. Mm. I don't give a shit about the robots. <laughs> They're robots. I don't really either. They're having these emotional moments, and I'm like, fucking robot. I am swearing a lot in this show. I am so gonna have to, well, I don't, you can swear out of care. I'm sorry, you guys. It's not for kids. No. We've, we've gotten older. We swear more. I've lost my filter. It went away. So the fucking robots. I don't. <clears throat> I don't care. I don't care. And this this season is like root for the robots almost season, mm -hmm. and I don't care about the robots. Okay. So humans then? I don't. I don't think I want to watch it anymore. <laughs> oh, that's fine. I'll watch it at the gym. I don't care. I just. Like, because, you know, the robots are having their, you know, it's just going to be you and me, and we need to go. And she's like, no, I need to do this thing. And I'm like, you're all gadgets and technology, <laughs> and I have no emotional connection to the robots at all. Well, and that was I don't the thing care. In the first I season, don't care. When they kept dying and then coming back, I was like, well, this show's going to be boring. There's no um, skin in the game. You can kill a character every week. Right. <laughs> they come matter. back. So, so I just I don't care. I mean, I guess if I was rooting for somebody, I'm rooting for Ed Harris, because he's a brutal mofo. Yeah, he's and getting... he can kill the hell out of those robots. I don't care. Yeah, I used, robots. I, used to I don't not, care. I used to not like his character, and now I'm pulling. Uh, yeah, so I, I would agree with you there. Ed he's Harris, a messed up guy. Ed Harris. And I may keep watching it, but I don't. Maybe it'll get better. I I don't know. I just kind of the don't critics care. like the first five, so maybe and they're supposed to be doing something different. Right. Floating them in the lake yeah go ahead well see my second question was going to be lead to that discussion that we just had about what's oh, world where i gave see, you the problem is about how i don't like it same about things yeah. yeah so okay hmm i did think of a third question oh do you really like squirrels oh it's kind of i do like squirrels but i could care less about squirrels <laughs> kind of like me and robots <laughs> <coughs> I like Clark Pickens. Because there was that one time when I electrocuted a squirrel in the backyard and you seemed genuinely upset. <laughs> well, that was a little sad. This puppy little tail sticking up. We had a rat in the backyard yeah. of our old house. And um, we have children who play outdoors, as children should. And um, so I got the. We knew there the was a rat out. living back there in the neighbor's shed. And they didn't speak English. So. There was sort of, a, we couldn't really, you know, say, get the rat out of your shed. Mumble. Um, so I got it like a rat, a rat zapper. It's an electrocutor. Um, it's an electric chair for a rat. But, so I'm standing there, you know, in the morning and I see, oh, damn it, there's no rat again. And I'd put some food in there for it. And I see the squirrels in the yard and they're sniffing around by it. And I thought, I don't think that squirrel go in there, will it? <laughs> <laughs> and then next thing i see power serves through the house squirrel puffy tail stick i felt so bad yeah oh well yeah but they're rodents too so no i like i like to watch the squirrels i like to feed the squirrels but clark pickens likes the squirrels i like clark pickens okay so there you go all right would you rather spend 24 hours in a glass house Full of spiders, everywhere is spiders. It's all spiders everywhere. I they're not, not gonna, they're not gonna hurt you. No, or I, would you I... rather spend 24 hours in a coffin under the ground? F you. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, you're not gonna die. You just have to experience it. Which well, would you prefer? Oh God, glass house with spiders. Absolutely. You could handle a coffin for 24 hours. No, I said I would prefer, oh, prefer it. the glass house with spiders. Okay. But yeah. they crawling on you and stuff? Or? Uh huh. No. Okay. Uh, oh my I'm God. Just, <laughs> just the thought of being underground in a. No. Mm -mm. Okay. Mm mm. Mm mm. Can't do it. There you go. I have had two questions. You don't have a third question? I don't. Let me think for a second. It could be media related, I suppose. It can be anything. We don't watch much TV lately. 
We stream a lot of stuff. Old well, stuff. okay, so this is not that exciting. This is really just a conversation that we need to have. Yeah. Um, okay. What are we going to start watching again? Because we've watched one episode of The Handmaid's Tale. We've watched one episode of season two of Jessica Jones. Um, we d dropped on um, somewhere in the middle of season two of um, Twin Peaks, which I like that show, but season two was kind of ah for mm -hmm. me, which is probably why it got canceled. Um, where are we? What are we going to pick this up? This is a here? whole show that I want to do. Summer. called What We're Streaming. Or what's oh, but on. just tell me what you want to watch next. Like, what should next? we actually actively watch? Sweeps are almost here, and then it'll be summer, and there's no new TV. And you guys, we well, barely watch any TV. Netflix just had it came out with a new series for Boss Baby. What the hell? Why would I watch that? <laughs> Please don't show it to our children. I won't. <coughs> Although Elliot will see it, and then she'll make sure Amity. And then she'll hate it, it, but make sure Amity knows about it, and then complain about yeah. it. So I don't know. I don't know what's coming out. That I want to see necessarily. Well, I think we should see Jessica Jones. I heard that season right, let's two. Let's finish is good. Jessica Jones. She kicks ass. Fine. I love her. She's but okay. she's also such a sorry case. It's hard to watch her. The fourth question comes from you. So the uh, super fans, we got a good one from <laughs> super fan Steve Donovan, who asks, "I just started playing the new Harry Potter game on iPhone, and I don't know which name I like better, Dinkus." Dumblebum or Snortus Mucinex? Definitely okay. Dinkus Dumblebum. I like Dinkus Dumblebum too. Mm -hmm. Although I do like the Snortus Mucinex. Because isn't that like all gunky? Yeah. I want to get this game now and come up with. What is this game? Some new Harry Potter game. Mm -hmm. <coughs> we'll have to check it out. <laughs> <coughs> he can't go very long without the LaCroix. Mm. The bubbles. I don't know what this game is, um, but I want to just get my name. Or does he? Or did you come up with your own name, Steve? Does he like these ones that he came up with? I don't know. I don't know. I have no answer. Either way, the answer is Dinkus Dumblebum, <laughs> which I will. And you say for the game for your character, but I do believe that from now on you will be known as Dinkus Steve Dumblebum. Dinkle, Dinkus. Or just Steve. Even... Instead of Donovan, it'll be Steve. Um, Dumblebum. <laughs> or we'll just call you Dumblebum. I don't know. Anyway, that's everything for this time on uh, three questions. If you want to ask the fourth question, um, it's over on our uh, Patreon. Super fans can ask a question over there. And uh, yeah, it's everything. Seacrest. Hey!